Hey, I'm John. Um, our, our mutt, um, that's my Twitter icon. The significance of that will be clear later. Um, this uh, talk is about something, uh, if you know me, uh, that's going to feed back. Can you turn that down, please? Thank you. Um, uh, if you know me, you know I have a habit of pontificating on uh, mailing lists. Um, I was suggesting that somebody do something like I'm about to show you, and they said, oh, you can't do that in Python. It's a scripting language. So. Okay, what am I trying to do? I'm trying to do a um, color organ, and color organs translate sound into color. Um, uh, and this gives you flashing, pulsing, colored lighting effects that can really turn you on. Right. This, this comes from back in the day. Uh, I'm sure some of you are old enough to remember this kind of thing, probably not. But back in the day, you know, you had your color organ, which is one of those things on the bottom. You had your black light poster. You had some tie stick. And, you know, it, life, life just didn't get much better than that. Um, all right. Um, now, uh, in the 20th, 21st century, we have other trippy things to play with. Um, uh, and there's some folks here who helped um, build this. Hi, Christy and other folks. Um, this is Swarm, built with a bunch of other people. But Swarm has a bunch of LED, um, uh, remotely controlled LED things, which you can change the colors on. And I thought, hey, let's build a light organ. So the way this works, and this is all in Python. Uh, let's see, do I have anything like a pointer? Can you see that? Oh, cool. Um, all right, you get some audio input. It goes into a spectrogram. This is your standard um, bar graph kind of thing. Each one of these is kind of the energy in a particular uh, spectral band, low frequency, high frequency. This goes into a weight matrix. Um, you can assign basically uh, uh, any of these uh, frequency bands to a particular color. You sum all the colors up. You can change the hue saturation. Uh, this goes in a little serial thing, and then it goes um, right over here. You can see this thing. This is a little um, uh, LED pod like we have on the orbs, only we have four of them on the orbs. And that takes a very simple serial protocol. Don't have time to go into it. It's um, basically a little uh, uh, AVR at mega 8 with um, hardware PWM driving the three channels, R, G, and B. OK, so um, this is something. Question? PWM is pulse width modulation. It's an easy way of dimming uh, LEDs, uh, can cha changing the relative brightness of RGB. You can get basically all the colors in the spectrum. OK, so this is a WX Python application. WX Python is a widget set. Um, uh, if you are a Windows hater, note that this runs on anything. All of the stuff that I'm showing you is theoretically cross-platform. It'll run on Linux. It'll run on Macs. Um, uh, this, I use WX Glade, which is a uh, GUI builder that's kind of a, a GUI itself, and then I hacked it up. Um, okay, so this is how the weight matrix concept, basically we're doing real-time spectrogram analysis. You can take a, a particular band, and here's a mid-frequency band, and you hit it with a weight. Um, so these uh, columns are the spectral bands, and these rows are the output channels. And this, this one says, uh, weight this one with five. Whoops, what happened there? And then it sends it out to this channel, which I have assigned to green. And you can change the colors you assign to a channel just by clicking on it. Pick sets out a color picker. So if you want a different color on that particular channel, you can set anything. But red, green, and blue gives you a full gamut. Um, OK, why Python? Um, well. Uh, I really like it. I won't go into it, but uh, here's a little loop that basically you saw that matrix. It's a three by eight matrix. You can either enumerate all these goddamn controls yourself, or you can make a little loop, assign them to a list, and then that gives you an iterable, which you can then deal with them and check them and see what they're doing. Um, uh, this is the, uh, let's see, can we scroll down here? I'm not. Okay. No, went back to the one. Mm. All right. So, um, so. Okay, so uh, running out of time, running out of time because I want to get to the uh, demo. Um, uh, this is pretty much all the signal processing using Pi Audio um, and uh, uh, NumPy and the FFT. I won't bore you about back in the day when we had to uh, do this in uh, DSP chips because he wasn't fast enough. Let me show the demo, demo on my machine here. Second. 
questions. I actually did this in time. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah.